So I was about to start this up and uh, get the industrial brick built. Noticed I've got a couple of chunks of neutronium over here which are going to get in the way of some of my later intentions. Might as well see what's in there. Uh, hopefully they won't be too much of a problem. Uh, I'll get rid of you. And we'll have a look see what we've got here. Actually, yeah, they're perfect. And we'll also have to go in for this one. And as a bonus, we'll get a wheeze wart for our triples as well. Ooh, yeah, the whole ice bi biome is going to melt. In fact, I should probably replace those ice blocks now, just in case some of my tubes are going to end up stranded out there. Now, another thing I'm missing is oxygen pressure. There's not actually a lot of oxygen in here. The hmm. uh, simplest thing to do is I'm just going to demolish a couple of chunks of the slime biome. I'll put down some deodorizers. The deodorizers will turn the polluted oxygen into oxygen. It'll be all good. Uh, there. We don't want to actually dig up that reed fiber. That would be nice to keep that reed fiber. And a few of these deodorizers about the place. And by a few, I mean lots. Oh, more buddy bud as well. Yeah, we'll take you and you. Wait, why am I? Yes, that's because I'm being something stupid. Eh. Up there and then there. Okay, that should get us a little bit of oxygen pressure. And do we find out what's over here? Yes. No idea. Right. Let's dig out that. Now, what's going on? A couple of things I wanted to take care of. Uh, yeah, I want access to the oxygen tank at some point, or the water tank. So let's deconstruct those. Actually, we can deconstruct. I have to revert it. We'll deconstruct those two bricks as well. Uh, water is still plenty. The only thing we're actually using water for at the moment is toilets, sinks, and sides. That's it. So that should be fine. Um, great hall. Yeah, that was it. I wanted to get this great hall and deconstruct those tiles right there so that we can replace them with diamond window tiles. Okay, I also wanted to fix the incubator. I've been meaning to fix this for a long time. We can deconstruct that and those two. Yeah, let's make those diamond window tiles at priority six. I want to seal that room up again. Nope, do not go for lunch in here just yet. We've got to fix the roof, guys. Yep, and the moment that last one went away, all the water is actually leaving. That's what was causing it. Oh, I'm going to put these back down to five. Yeah, that's going to take a while to get the materials for that. They have to go all the way down to the oil biome. Now, uh, we'll stick a door in there. I've been meaning to ch fix that for God knows how long. Yeah, that won't interfere with those. Perfect. And I never put a diamond floor on this place in here. Would have been a smart idea. The way those statues I put down there can actually do some good. How much diamond I got left? 24 tons. Plenty. Uh, that's already turning that polluted oxygen into oxygen. That should help increase the oxygen pressure in here. Well, eventually. Uh, oh. And what did we find over here? Oh, wait, no, it's the chlorine gas vent. I already found that one. Oh, they're still working out. It's kind of nice. I've got them to the point where I can actually keep ahead of them in giving them orders. Now, Art Doug, you... Mm, actually, we'll get you improved learning. Yeah. Tinker Doug, you've got exosuit training. Yeah, we'll keep putting you down that. We want to get you into an electrical engineer. Yeah, I was trying to get Brains Doug into... Mechatronics engineer really early on. I think the research field was required in the old version, which was why I was doing that, but I don't think that's necessary anymore. You just need to have to specialize a tinkerer. The research dupe can go wherever you want any now. You don't really have a choice, I suppose. Uh, dupe three, you're going to improve carrying, improve carrying two. Soon you dupes will be... You'll be in wearing your exosuit hats. That PST2 is taking forever. Oh my god. Ranching has such low skill gain, it's amazing, or experience gain. Now, have they patched up my dining hall? They're about to. Excellent. Probably after they've all dined in it and lost their morale bonuses. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. And let's check research for the moment. We haven't been researching in a while. I don't think I've ever actually built a jukebox. Not once. 
and make sure forge, oxalate refinery, none of these, and we'll get medicine. We've actually got a dupe that can utilize it, so why not? And okay, so this main feed is feeding that. This main feed can feed this. In fact, we will make this an exact duplicate. All right, so it goes there. Oh, damn it, I can't go through there or I'll actually destroy. I want to keep that pepper, peppernut plant if I can. I'm digging up a lot of plants at the moment and I'd prefer to keep some for later. Um, what I'll actually do then is maybe cancel these. I have to approach this slightly differently. Let's pause it for a second so I can... Hmm. Uh, so bring one gas pipe up there. Uh, another one over here. Oop. That's why we pause these things. I'm going to cancel you. Gas pipe here. Uh, yeah, I'm going too far with this. I should be... It should be a lot simpler than I'm doing. There. That should go there. Then we have... One goes it there. One goes it there. One goes it there. One goes it there. There. And this bridge. Yeah, close enough. Uh, you can go. One goes it there, one goes it there, one goes it there, and. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Uh, as for power, we're going to run you off this grid up here. Now, we're sure that grid is running on the non -inc on the incubator grid, so we'll just run a cable from up here, straight down. These things don't draw that much power. They only draw power when the suits are being uh, dropped off, usually three to 10 seconds. And we'll also put in a door. And actually, we will make those insulated tiles. Ooh, printables. Do we have another Tinker Dog available? Oh yeah, so Noodle Arms, which, no. Uh, passive, not even that bad to be honest, but they just don't have anything decent to make up for it. Pacifist and unconstructive. No, thank you for unconstructive. Yokel I can live with. Gourmet early bird. Ranch. Uh, no, you're pretty terrible. We'll just take the copper. Uh, one thing I should also do is start insulating my base a bit better. The heat that's been getting in has made me realize I've been sloppy. Okay, there. Hmm. Hmm. Can't go through the slime. Now, air is not that conductive, so pretty much okay on that front. Uh, more over this English rock. Yeah, perfect. Hmm. Yeah, it'll do. And down here as well. Nope. Oh, insulate that like crazy. Cancel that. Actually, cancel both of those. Uh, we should insulate this a bit smarter. I'm decreasing the size of the stable every time I do that, and yet I keep doing it. Um, yeah, there's no point putting it there. I've left those generators in a bit too tight, but I was kind of confined by the slime. Ooh. Was that room not too big? What the? Okay, the critters are tamed. Are they groomed? They're not getting groomed in here. <laughs> I was missing a tile. Oops. Uh, that would explain why my calories have been slowly decreasing. Well, okay. Uh, so you'll be up to seven shortly. You'll be up to seven, seven. We need four more hatches. Okay, and we're going to make this one a priority six. Made a mess? How did you? Okay. You can't leave them alone for a minute. Okay, dig, dug, dig that out. Oh no, that's in the suit. When he gets back, he's going to drop that off, isn't he? Uh, okay. Let me up here. Yeah, you know what? Let's put in a tile here. Should have known. Oh, yeah, let's mop that up. Where did Dig Dug go? Uh, 
now. Okay, so I have a bunch of polluted water. It has got lots of germs in it, and I need it disposed of. And where does my polluted water go? Is it still here? Yes, excellent. Uh, so we'll get a rent to take care of that. And my oxygen pressure should be going up at last. Excellent. Uh, enough of all of that. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, so now they're getting groomed. Missed one block. Just one. Uh, that should increase egg production. And once that one gets another couple of critters, which should be hopefully pretty soon, that's 51% on that egg, and that egg is 7%. Okay, it'll be a while. Okay, hopefully they'll finish all this stuff shortly. Uh, there's no one in there but an uh, exosuit helmet. And he's stressed. Dig dug. Well, yeah, he did spend all night up on top of an ice block. Beastie 2? Did Beastie 2 finally make it to Exosuit? Oh my god. Good job, Beastie. About damn time. Okay, we are getting you out of there straight away. Beastie 2 is no longer allowed on the training wheel. Uh, as well as that, Beastie 2 is now allowed outside. Uh, where's Beastie 2? Okay, and skills wise. No, that's the wrong one. Priorities wise. Let's see. Brains dug isn't where they need to be. Dig dug. Okay, Beastie 2. Your hat's just been changed, but we're going to downgrade your operate. Build and dig up by one. Actually, we will leave build and dig at even. You don't need to help out with that. Whatever's close by to you, you'll take care of. Um, where's Beastie 1? Actually, I want to change that for Beastie 1 as well. They're getting out of the build and dig game. They're going to spend most of their time grooming the critters. And the very brief amount of spare time they have, they can do whatever's closest to them. Uh, Art Doug, they're good, good. Uh, Doug's body out is good. Good, good. Wait, why does Dig Doug 2 have operate? No. No more operate for you, Dig Doug 2. Tinker Doug's fine. Tinker Doug 3, 4, 5. Perfect. Uh, they can finish off those walls. All that insulation. Hopefully we can keep this place just a little bit cooler. I've been letting too much heat in. Uh, while we're at it. Actually, yeah, why not? We can dig this out and we can hook this up with the rest of the base. Hmm. Yeah, the building definitely appears to have slowed down. I suppose I do have them going everywhere. What's taking up everyone's time? Construction supply, build, construction supply, dig, construction supply. Yep, yeah, no, it's pretty much all build and dig. And we do have three on wheels. Okay, we're going to make you for regular water. Just so we can get rid of all those bottles of water that are lying around the place up here. Come on, little dupes. Hurry up. Used to be really good at this. You know what? I am going to insulate these gas pipes as well. What the... Where did this come from? Huh? There's germy polluted water all over my floor. Who did this? <laughs> That's... What the... That doesn't happen. There's four toilets there. Oh... I replaced that tile. Oh my god. Such a moron. I replaced that tile with an insulated tile. That's how the germy polluted water got out. I didn't put a backing brick behind it before I did it. Ugh. Okay. Finish that up. 
Yes, thank you. My bad, dupes, my bad. Nothing to do with you guys, that was me. No. Oh. Great. Um. Oh, I'll have to deconstruct that one. Now you better make it back to base and not do anything bad. Perfect. Good duplicate. Okay, I think that's enough oxygen for now. Okay, that's the plan. So what we're going to do here is put down our refinement. Uh, we're going to want rock granulator and a couple of spaces second rock granulator we're going to need a couple of spaces kiln kiln leave a couple of spaces and then plastic press actually we'll make this out of gold amalgam for now i'm gonna have to rip these up later and replace them with steel once i get my hands on it actually we'll cancel those we don't want them built out of copper we want them built out of gold amalgam I'm going to have to do a raid for more gold at some point. Go through the extremely long slaves that are only getting longer. Um, hmm, actually, no, we'll do the containers first. Uh, perfect. Hey, okay, good. You didn't get stuck for a second there. I thought you were about to get stuck. Uh, what do we find over here? Oh, Carbon dioxide geyser. I saw the blue in the corner there and I was like, I was hoping it was some sort of water vent slash geyser or something like that. Hey, gold volcano. Okay, that that I can work with. Though, actually, it's really close to my... Uh, you know, I'm not unhappy it's there. It's just it's really in an awkward position. Really awkward. Um, yeah, I have picked up a wheeze wart, so it's time to implement that somewhere. Ooh, this place looks like it could do with some cooling. Oh yes, that diamond is coming all the way from the oil biome, so it's a little bit toasty. Just a little bit. Uh, furniture. Yep, can never find the flower pot. Uh, we will go with you here and we'll put a wee sport in you. Hmm. Might have been a little bit late on the insulation. Oh, and they can't get in there, can they? Uh, next dupe. Let's hope it's a tinkerer. Pufflet eggs. Yeah, don't care. Flatulent and narcoleptic. No, thank you. Yeah, well, we can live with the pacifist. We can live with quick learner. Always good. Three learning. Farm and cook. Two skill interests you will never use. Art you will never use. Cook you will never use. Research you will probably never use. Oh, five tinkering. Okay, you know what? Interest in research we can actually use. We'll get you some learning. You've got five tinkering to start. You can be Tinker Doug. Yeah, I can't remember what we're on. Are we on four or five? Let's say five. I can rename you if I've messed it up. Yeah, where are we? Tinker Doug five, Tinker Doug four, Tinker Doug five. Excellent. So Tinker Doug five, you are going straight into actually Tinker Doug three. Oh, excellent. Tinker Doug three can now gain exosuit training. We can allow you out now. Tinker Doug five is going to go straight into the improved carry route. Hmm. Now i got to remember to let dupes out and in and... Uh, where's Tinker Doug? Four. You know what, the hat's not showing up yet. I'll wait a minute. Uh, Tinker Doug 5 is going to be allowed in here now. Uh, who got their hat? Damn it, why haven't you updated yet? Um, it was Tinker Doug 3. Okay, so Tinker Doug 3 can now no longer enter here. Tinker Doug 5 can. Right. Tinker Doug 3 is now allowed at the front door. It's a little bit time consuming doing this, but it does make sure that all my dupes get, well, they get leveled up. If they're trying to run around in exosuits and they have no training in it, they're just terrible. The minus 6 athletics is just crippling, especially this early, early on. For example, they're, once their athletics, they're 0. Getting minus 6 means it'd be 60% slower than normal. 
also running on the wheel for a while ups their athletics so everyone's already picked up a few points in athletics while they were running on the wheel it's perfect it just makes them fast and it does it as quickly as possible oh and we want to put you on a different schedule don't we yeah. Tinkerdog five. Wait, Tinkerdog four is a set. Tinkerdog five. Okay, so it's fourteen. Yeah, right, we got two beds left for you. Okay, how are those arrow pots doing? Uh, the temperature's got it too hot in here for my bar bluffs, but I don't really care too much right now. I wish I could care, but I don't. Uh, we've got. Whoa. Okay, that was quick. And uh, we've got some oxygen being produced out of here. Hmm. Still not enough pressure for there that I'd like, but I can live with that. Now, and this bottom floor, actually, let's get rid of all these annoying exclamation marks. Liquid pipe, germs, liquid pipe sensor, germ sensor, disease clinic, and germ sensor. Right. Refinement, we're going to want an oil refinery down here. Say, so put you in two. Actually, we're going to want a vent to take care of the excess you spit out. Now, how wide did I want these things? One second. Uh, I wanted it 31 tiles wide from here to 31. Uh, so we want a wall about there. Hmm, perfect. Now, for power, we're going to put in a few little cool arrays over here. Yeah, no one wants to uproot you, so you know what? We are just going to dig you up. Now, how much conductive wire can I build? Actually, I don't need conductive wire for this just yet. I can just use regular wire. So we'll go with a couple of coal generators. One smart battery. Ooh, actually, we'll cancel you. You're going to be around for a while, so we'll give you a storage bin, then more power. And then a smart battery to go with that. And uh, we'll make you out of iron. You don't need to be very heat resistant out here. Famous last words. Uh, automation wire. And you don't need to be pretty either. You are a temporary coal array to get us started. Uh, how much power? Yeah, well, it's going to rip all the air out of here. We are going to turn this place into a complete vacuum. You know what? I'm going to do a separate vent for each one. Problem is there's mixed gases in here, which is kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, plumbing wise, we also need power for the plumbing. And we also need to let those air bubbles out. Uh. Now, I don't want to turn on these gas pumps just yet until I've actually pumped out all the... until I've actually got a liquid lock in here. Okay, so to do that... Where's our plumbing? Okay, you there. One there, one there, yeah, another one there, another one there, another one there. Just so we're ready to fill up all of these liquid locks when we want. Yeah, I could automate these a little bit smarter. Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to put in shutoffs. You know what? For this first one, I'm not going to care too much. We're just going to get it up and running. Uh, for you, it's going to be 90 and 40. Uh, for you, we're going to reduce you to 5 tons. You know what? Just easier. Plan here is seal up the liquid here and then suck out all the gas. I want to turn this entire area into a vacuum. Um, the reason being, this gives off natural gas, and I basically want that natural gas to be trapped in here. We're also going to have to put in a few other things as well that would be better off in a vacuum where they won't cause any heat problems. Hmm. You not hooked up that power yet? Uh, where are we? There we are. How are we going? Excellent. Yeah, plenty of oil to get us started. Okay, nice. Now, next. Get that up there. For metal tiles, we're actually going to want some gold right here. 
Uh, and I'm going to want to put in a bunch of furniture on this floor. Actually, first thing I want to do is put in some diamond tiles. This is just going to help counteract the massive amounts of negative decor that my duplicates are going to be exposed to in here. And by that I mean large sculpting blocks. This is basically an art floor. Oh. Why are they not made of granite? Have I not been making these statues out of granite the whole time? That would be rather embarrassing. Yes, I've been making sandstone statues. Oh. I'm losing out on 2.5 decor per statue. Not riffing them out now. Hell no. Ah, so that's filling up there. Once that overflows, why is it trapped in between? <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, we will deconstruct that liquid pipe. And we'll make that level 7. Uh, anyone going around to do that? Thank you. Uh, once the c that's constructed, we'll have a sealed liquid lock there. And at that point, we can actually just start pumping out all this junk. Oh, come on, it's lunchtime already? Dupes. Uh, Tinker Doug, you are good in most things. You don't need super hard digging, but you can get some advanced research. Yeah, that might help speed up your advance. Oh, no, you can't. You have no liking for it. Um... Hmm. Yeah, improve construction. Why not? We're in the middle of a construction phase. Okay, that's one of them working. And I might want to increase the size of this CO2 pit just a little bit. Hmm. And maybe get rid of some of that water as well while we're at it. Okay, I'll make you priority six. Uh, for these suckers, we want refined carbon and ceramic. Uh, so you got one, one for coal. Leave you at four. Uh, one for clay. Uh, I can never remember what clay is under. Not organic. Um, seed, raw metal, mineral, or fiber, or industrial ingredient? No. Uh, filtration medium? No. Cultivatable soil? Clay. And we will also make you four. That uh, gives me coal on that. And let's put both of these on ceramic once we get some coal in there. Or clay in there. Okay, 30 morale. Much better. Oop, I've actually managed to overpressurize that. Yep, that's what I get for pumping too much oxygen in. <laughs> Damn slime! Now, uh, slime lung germs. Yeah, we don't care. All our dupes are exosuited up to the nines. They don't care at all. Not even a little bit. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dupes, all working. That's a lovely sight to see. Uh, new printables. Any new tinker dugs? Uh, small bladder and irritable bowel. Okay, so you go to the bathroom more often and you take longer every time. That's actually pretty bad. Flatulent, no thank you. Triophobia. Can't perform dig. That one I can almost live with. Uh, kindness, care, supply, and cook. The only one we care about would be their supply. So let's just take the larvae eggs. We'll crack those. They'll make some tasty omelets. And my computer seems to have decided to go up all the time. Ah, there we go. Now, we will crack three of you, because we don't need you. I don't want to go infinity crack, because if I do, I'll start cracking the leg eggs down here belonging to the wild slicksters. I don't want to do that. I need to make a little bit more space in here. And dupes, I'm going to need you to carve out more territory. It still hasn't gone small enough yet. Once this room is a vacuum, we can start up with oil anyway. And in the meantime, 
Actually, no, I can't really build that just yet until I've got my hands on some ceramics. Um, hmm. uh, three skill points earned. Hopefully someone else can join the team. Who is it? Tinker Doug. Tinker Doug 4. Extant. You're into exosuits now. Okay, nearly everyone is in exosuits. This is perfect. Uh, so Tinker Doug 4. We need to make a few changes here. Uh, one Tinker Doug 4 is going to be allowed out. Right. Uh, additionally, Tinker Doug 4 is going to be locked out of here. Right, and what was the last one? Oh, I'm going to have to open up this next section so that more duplicates can get out and use the other exosuits. And we are also going to change this to clearance of vacancy. Pseudo duplicates may only pass if there's an available dock. Right, and Okay, what we've done there is clearance, vacancy only. Suited duplicates may pass only if there is room in a dock to store their suits. The reason we're doing this is we have two, well, we're about to open up the second Atmo dock. And if we don't enable this, what will happen is sometimes they'll come back to a dock that's full. Say, say this is all empty up here, but this one is full. They'll come up, walk through here, and because there's no space to put it in this dock, they'll just drop it on the floor. And after a while, you'll end up with no suits available up here and eight suits sitting on the floor here and only eight dupes able to use your actual exosuit ducks. If you lock them so they can only do it this way, it just makes your life an awful lot simpler. Okay. And I can go there, I can go there. Yeah, that's close enough to done. How are we looking in oxygen? No, actually temperature overlay. Nope, still plenty of See the way it's turning light blue around the fans? That means they're creating a, a vacuum for a split second when that happens. And we'll dig get some more space here. And once we get this in, we can fire up the plastic press. And once we get the plastic press up and running, we can get high pressure vents. If we'd started farming glossy Drecos, we probably could have done that, but I don't mind doing dealing with this minor annoyance. It saves me having to deal with hydrogen and Dreco farms. Not a big fan. Uh, actually, I can leave that sealed up. This one I'm going to have to work with. I'm going to have to actually go back and redesign this build a bit. I'm going to have to squash things, especially with that in the way. Hmm. I'm going to have to come into my power plant from the bottom. And while they're all doing that, let's go get our hands on some more gold amalgam. Uh, actually, I also want to allow all the water down here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's find somewhere like, yeah, here's good. Right, let's make you a priority six. What I'm trying to do here is have a, basically this is going to be a polluted water pit. Anytime I crack open these water vents, they're going to flow down. And what I want to do is basically have them all fall down this hole here and into this pit. I'll enlarge it a bit, of course. And also there's some reed fiber down there, which I wouldn't mind getting my my dupes hands on. Uh, there. Oh, and put down some deodorizers as we go. Almost done. You can see the temperature there. That's the vacuum basically spreading out. Once gas gets small enough, it eventually just disappears all on its own almost. That's taking a little bit of time. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, don't you dare get trapped down there. And a few more deodorizers. There's going to be a lot of slime lung down here. On the bright side, all these deodorizers will give us lots of clay to put into our ceramics. And finally, this is done. Okay. And we will put you on ceramics forever, and you can also go on ceramics forever. And if we're smart, we'll get in a shipping station. Actually, I'm going to need power on this section as well. For that, another coal array. 
the joy of these cooler is, is they're just simple to throw down and you can get enough power out of them to usually get your basics up and running uh, one minute. and also we're swimming in coal a lot of coal uh, okay and we'll get shipping up and running as well so we're going to do a conveyor sweeper actually we'll make that out of gold uh, power Ooh, did it pretend the automation wire nope okay so what I'm trying to do here is get some ceramic up and running we're gonna need some ceramic piping to deal with some of the byproducts of this oil it'd be nice to get it started now that ceramic should be under is it industrial ingredient no uh, ceramic here we go 600 kilos already under raw mineral I never understood why ceramic was under raw mineral at what point is it raw I have mm. now uh, dupes are finished down there or refinery let's get the plumbing for this up and running actually let's strip out all of this in here we don't need it anymore all of that gas is just all that gas stuff is going to get in the way actually except for that gas pump that gas pump can say those gas pumps can go now one of the downsides of using these is it requires duplicate to operation to run an oil refinery uh, the problem with that is once it fills up with oil and you've backed up your system and you're not quite burning it fast enough your duplicate will run away going oh we're finished we've got as enough which oil as can fit in the pipe and then half a second later the refinery or whatever you're pumping the oil into will burn some of it at which point this will clear up and go hey i'm ready for action again and then another duplicate will run over to activate it and you keep ending up with duplicates running back and forth so you have to just put in uh, a tank system so that you can store up enough oil and then have it switch off until one of the tanks is empty so what i like to do is put in two tanks and then strip the last one out or put in two tanks and then uh, power wires Put in two tanks and then have both tanks fill and then once both are filled filled they shut off the oil refinery and then once one of the tanks is empty the oil refinery turns back on again and now we'll put in a liquid reservoir here we're going to make it out of gold amalgam both of those out of gold amalgam actually uh, for plumbing we're going to use insulated pipes we're going to use ceramic because we've got it now output pipe um hmm actually input pipe is also important okay we'll use an igneous I don't want to split that off there that was just sloppy of me yeah it'll do um, that goes in there to the input output pipe this is going to output 70 degree petroleum I believe uh, actually we'll just leave it with igneous rock Ooh, nope. now this is where it gets a little complicated now what we want to do here uh, we want this tank to go here into that uh, we're going to want an overflow on the sucker here Uh, the oil is going to come in here then it's going to go straight into this tank this tank is going to spit it at the bottom and into the second tank then any overflow is going to go up here we're breaking it off this white piece so any overflow as in it can't get into that tank it will break out up here and then that will try and feed into the second layer uh, it'll look simpler when it's in action it took me a few attempts to get this to work myself now um we're going to go with plumbing and we're going to go with a liquid pipe element sensor yeah make it iron's fine right and then we will get some automation off that automation wire out of iron excellent and mechanized airlock iron ore basically i'm going to lock this in here it's in a vacuum already once it's built and finished i want to lock the door to prevent any dupes accidentally stumbling in there and breaking the vacuum seal because oh i hooked it up already didn't i god 
Yeah. <laughs> My bad. We are going to disable that building. Uh, automation wire. We are going to put you up to nine priority and make you an emergency. There we go. That shut it off. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that should have went through a not gate actually. Oops. Ah. Now I have to pump out all this natural gas. You know what? I'm just dumping it out. I don't care. <laughs> you want to get angry at the dupes, but you know it's all your own fault. Okay, lads, get it running. And actually, one last thing. I will deconstruct that. And we will put in a knot gate. All right. I'll try and explain this one last time while they're doing that. Oil comes in here. It, can't go, it will go straight across here and it'll keep going in here until this tank has filled and this tank have filled. Once both of these tanks have filled, the oil will overflow out this little pipe here. That one right there that's coming out of the white. And when it overflows there, it's going to hit that sensor. And that sensor will tell the oil refinery to shut off. Then that oil was going to try and flow across here, but it can't get out. The reason it can't get out is because because this tank is full, it's filled this entire line with oil. Petroleum, I should say. And so long as that petroleum is there, this liquid can never get out of this pipe and can never clear the line so the, the oil refinery can never turn back on. Now I'll try and show you it in action once it kicks in, but I'd have to catch it when both tanks are full. But it's a pretty handy little system to make sure it doesn't become a problem. Uh, how are we doing down here? Or it's just a pretty handy little system to make sure this doesn't overload. And it's quite small, compact. And the only reason you need to put these in a vacuum is because I'm kind of paranoid and I like to make sure these things are kept well sealed, just in case you get any problems later on. Uh, how much ceramic are we up to? Five tons of ceramic already. Excellent. I wish I actually knew where the clay was. Actually, we have, yeah, we have all the clay in the world. All right, well, all that's done. Let's go get our hands on some more resources, shall we? Uh, hmm. You know what, they can flow down there all you want, but I think I'm going to block that off there. And then we'll mop up that liquid. Might as well break that oil and dump it down here into our liquid tank. Our ghetto liquid tank. At the same time, hmm, actually... deconstruct that tile to get that one Ooh, buildings that's where it didn't go and we'll just put a tile there to make sure it doesn't splash past where it's supposed to go how stop doing that get out of there this dupe uh, if we're lucky that paku fish might flop all the way down though it's fry egg that's incubating may not uh, you know what? Let's move the fry egg down here. Might as well. No point wasting the eggs. Or the pack of fish. They're a decent source of meat and a decent source of lime with their eggshells. I would have preferred to actually build my industrial brick over here, but it wasn't really possible with the way this was set up. Okay, are you almost a vacuum again? Okay, it's just this last bit over here. I should have put another fan over there, uh, gas pump over there. You know what, I could, I uh, know, I'll just overload the wire. Yeah, it's still a vacuum, perfect. You can finish that off. Next up, I'm gonna want uh, somewhere to store the natural gas that comes out of this. So I'm gonna put that right here and then once that's done, we'll be able to produce petroleum and I'm going to start cranking out lots of plastic. The plastic we're going to really need for getting up some steam turbines. Uh, Dig Dug 3, exosuit training, excellent. Dig Dug 2, actually Dig Dug 3, you're going to get your new hat now. Uh, Dig Dug 2, you've got, yep, yeah, you've nailed exosuit training, hard and super hard digging, you're going to improve construction. 
Beastie 1. Damn, how have you actually leveled up? Oh, actually, Beastie 1 gained 2 points in ranching. Actually, 3 points in ranching. They've got 4 from the skills. They started with 0, so they've somehow gained 3 points. I think it's from hugging eggs. So I think egg hugging does actually increase your ranching skill just incredibly slowly. Now, uh, Kryptoning, there's nothing you really need. You yeah, we can get you to strength training, I suppose, but everything else, yeah, advanced research, why not? And Dig Dug, the original Dig Dug. Yeah, we'll get you in some research training so you can learn skills faster. And which one of these was Dug 3? Yeah, Dig Dug 3 needs to be let out of the base now. Okay, Dig Dug 3. I didn't set the priorities on that one. Okay, Dig Dug 3. Is that Art Dug? Yeah, no, you're allowed out. Right, so, Dig Dug 3 is allowed out of there, and we're going to ban Dig Dug 3 from the gym. Your membership has been revoked. Not everyone. Only one left is Tinker Dug 5. Wow, okay, so only Tinker Dug 5 should be allowed into the gym anymore. I thought I saw more than that. No, just Tinker Dug 5. Okay. These are all graduates of the gym. And we've still got two more to go before we can close the gym, for at least temporarily. Okay, finally, let's not make that mistake again. Okay, you, you, and we're going to deconstruct the wires. And let's pause while it saves for a while. Anyway, okay, in here we're going to put in a couple of gas tanks, and we're going to do something slightly different to the other one. Uh, in this instance, I want to store up the natural gas, but... Oh, damn it. I want to store up the natural gas, but I don't want to actually spend it unless I have to. Uh, to put it another way. Once these two tanks are full, I basically want to turn on the natural gas generators. If these two tanks are full, burn it off. That's all I want. Once the two tanks go back to just being full again, it'll stop. So it's basically just going to keep them at even keel. Otherwise, they function as, well, backup power. That's more their, their primary goal. Uh, while that's going on, I'm going to get some storage bins so we can clean up this mess. I want to scrub out all the junk that I left in here from this construction campaign. Yeah, put you there. I'm going to set you to open. Move debris into storage. And for this we'll have sweep only. Priority level 6. That should override all the priorities of all the others, so they'll dump it in there first because it's the closest. So it should cut down on travel distance. Uh, ventilation. This one's going to be slightly trickier. Let me remember this one now. Uh, so that's the entrance pipe. This gas is going to go over. We're going to dump that into the power plants. Uh, this here. This is going to be the tricky bit. So, we're going to suck the gas out of the room. Uh, something like that. The overflow gas. Damn you. The overflow gas will go like this way. And then we'll have it feed on like... No, I can't have it feed on quite there. You know what, I could probably build this tighter and move it back a bit there. All right, the gas is going to come out of here. Then we're going to have the gas break off of this pipe and come down and dump in here. Simultaneously, though, we're going to have this overflow gas pipe here. If the gas can't get across here, it's going to, because this both these tanks are backed up, the overflow is going to come down here and hop into this bridge, which will dump it across here. Once this clears, that'll be able to clear. Everything will be golden. But we're going to put in a gas pipe element sensor right here. So that we can detect when the natural gas is in there. And then we're going to have to dump out an automation signal for that so that we can feed that off to our power plants. So then go over here. Exit. This is going to be set to detect uh, petroleum. Nope, 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 nope. Where the hell is it? Have I not discovered petroleum yet? I believe. Oh, there we go. And let's double check these to make sure they're good because we are going to have to close up these doors at some point. Yeah, we're frozen to there. Then it stays there. Yeah, that's good. 
actually we are going to lock you and the door can be left open for now and ceramic we're up to 10 turns extant we're gonna have plenty of piping to deal with all the hot liquids actually now that we've got 10 tons of it we can start putting down some of the refinement stations metal refinery and uh, lose three tiles between each yeah is that what I settled on? That looks a bit tight. Yeah, one second. Yep, yeah, that's what I settled on. All right. Um, but I do want to get this plastic up and running first. Some high pressure vents would make this an awful lot easier. So plumbing wise, uh, liquid pipes. Okay, this is the output. This is going to be going up to, hmm, actually, Actually, no. No, no, no. Silly, silly. This is why you need to pause when you're building these so you don't make stupid mistakes. As much as... Well, okay, I'm going to make them anyway, but I, I make less of them when I pause. Okay. Uh, okay, so what will happen here is this will come up here, and this will go on to the power plants, and this will draw it on. Only if the power plants aren't requesting oil will it come out this direction. And then we'll have it split between these two. Uh, should I have it go primarily through one and then the other? Actually, you know what? Actually, no. I'll split them. I don't want any pro to have to deal with any problems with this later. Excellent. Okay, it's starting to come together. Finally. Took long enough. Uh, dog's buddy. Did the game just try and save? Yep. Uh, dogs, buddy, yet. Yeah, you got your exercise training, improved caring, plumbing. We'll just make you a bit smarter so you learn your skills faster. Actually, how's Dogs, buddy, doing on cooking? Their cooking skill only at four? How is their cooking skill only at four? They should be cooking constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, Tinker Dog 5. You are in improved carry, too. Okay, new printables. Unconstructive and allergies. Well, we can't have allergies. Small bladder, gourmet. Okay, that's really good at cooking. Tidy. No, no, no. And eh, we'll get the Volp up. There's always room for more barbecue. Hey, you're full, you're full, you're full, you're full. All seven full. Oh, we better turn on the automation. I mean, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. Okay, we have 35. You're actually at full capacity. It took it to cycle 128. Not that bad. <laughs> hey, now, all the automation sensors are they set to the correct six. Six, 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 six. Excellent. What was that noise? Oh, combat. Now, how's our food going? We have not actually accumulated any omelets. We're still sort of living off the... I think we're just making enough to meet our food requirements. Does me just fine. Oh, and I forgot to put in that buddy bud plant, but it's still protected by the ones above. That buddy bud plant germs thing. I'm not sure if it works, but it seems to be. I've never had any germs get up there, though I have been playing quite carefully. Okay, we're also going to wall that in. And make sure no one walls themselves in in the process, of course. Excellent. Thank you for not walling yourself in. Yeah, we'll do that. I know that water is going to escape, but yeah, I wanted to find other uses for down here anyway. Now, we're almost done down here. Well, not quite. I locked that door, didn't I? They need to be able to get in there to lay that pipe. Uh, what are we missing? Because once I lock this up and start injecting natural gas in here, I can't really crank those doors open again. I'll have to come in from the other side, put in a liquid lock. It's really painful. Uh... Yeah, automation wires are in, plumbing's in, gas. Gas is also in. This only needs a tiny amount of power, which means those two coal arrays will do it just fine. Yeah, I think this is the end of it. Automation also covered, yeah. And once you're all out of there, we're gonna auto that door and then lock it. Actually, we're gonna just lock it straight up. Uh, you will just auto for the time being. Nice, and once that's done, we can enable the refinery. Okay, two locked. We will enable the building. 
Now, we're going to need power for these suckers. Oh, wait, nope. Already did that. Excellent. Power draw on this line is going to be a little bit dangerous. It's 1080, but what I'm going to do is only use one of these rock granulators for the time being until I get the power plant up and running. So we'll disable this building here. And you are going to be set to grind up eggshells to lime. Just for now. We need to get rid of all those annoying eggshells lying around the place. And plumbing. We got liquid pipe. Oh, I forgot. These have a liquid output, don't they? Plumber press, petroleum power, steam, uh, plastic, carbon dioxide. Well, I know exactly where that carbon dioxide can go. We're going to run you all the way down to the oil biome. Hmm. Uh, where do we want to go with this? We want to go up or down? Can't really go down, can we? Uh, we'll be silly and go through the roof. I suddenly realized they'd make any of those out of insulation at all. Uh, I believe the gases coming out here are pretty hot. I'm not going to use ceramics for them because they're not that hot, and it is, it's only carbon dioxide. It has a very small thermal capacity. Uh, we're going to run this down, actually stir it through. We want to leave space for other stuff that's going to come through here eventually. Uh, when the time comes, we'll replace that with a high-pressure gas vent. Ooh, temperature's pretty toasty in here. Those kilns have been warming up the place nicely. Uh, what's the decor like in our heavily industrialized brick? Yep, decor's looking pretty good. I think the tinkerers are going to be pretty happy with the uh, with the choices we've made in the design. Uh, all that water's still pouring. Yeah, okay. Ooh, more water up there and some more Paku. Did that Paku make it down there in the end? Ooh. You know what? Let's sweep only... Eggs, where we have eggs, critter eggs. Fry egg. Let's sweep that in there, and then we'll uh, hopefully remember to let him out of there once we've swept him up. Overheat damage. Well, of course it's overheating, because I made it out of iron ore. Uh, deconstruct that. We're not even going to try and keep that at a reasonable refinement. Refinement. Oh, refinery. Gold amalgam. Thank you. We'll upgrade you to steel when the time comes. But for now, we just want some plastic. Then we get the steel. Let's see how we're we doing on petroleum. Yeah, we're doing good actually. And if we could start making plastic. If we can get this gas pipe finished. Nope. Uh, Atmos sensor. That's also what's helping this place overheat. That is why it's overheating. There's no actual atmosphere in here. Come on, hurry up before this overheats again. I really don't want to have to deconstruct it. You know what? You can stop operating that. Okay. Emitting natural gas, 90 grams a second. Perfect. And if we check on the actual refinement section uh, effects petroleum and natural gas heat 10 k's uh, perfect only when the pressure is above two kilos will you activate hmm okay that's a little bit borderline for now but it should do it should serve our purposes oops <laughs> I forgot I should really put a wheeze wart down here should I Actually, I only need enough to get started. Now, where do we have our ice? Hmm. We actually have more regular ice. Yeah, I'm going to flood this place with a bit of water. Uh, how many plastic do we have? Organic consumable liquid liquefiable. Why do they always hide these things under God knows where? Consumable ores. No, it's not under consumable ores. Miscellaneous manufactured material. There we go. Plastic. 128 kilos. Not even enough to make one steam turbine. I'm going to need you to produce about a ton of this before I can switch you off. Mm, we'll make you fellas priority six. And 
should be that. Okay, and we're stockpiling the oil for later. Yes. And why is there no tinkerer working this? Oh, there he comes. One of them had to go to sleep. Uh, I will try and keep an eye on those, and when the two of them are about to fill, I'll try and point it out. Though I make no promises. Uh, so that's the start of it. We've had an overheat, two overheats, and, well, no overloads yet. But we do have enough ceramic, and, yeah, we got 16 tons of ceramic. And once I get, I'll put in some ice here to help with the early cooling before I get in the, uh, the ice box over here. But that should give us plenty of plastic to actually get up and running our steam turbines for cooling these metal refineries. Actually, I could probably do the power plant first. Actually, you know what? I'll stop it here. Uh, we'll leave it at that for the time being. Most of the, the basic of the brick is up. I'll have to do a little bit of testing over here to figure out how much space I've got. So see how quickly, I, how much I can squeeze in here. I'll go on to a debug map and do a bit of testing. And then I'll come back to it. And for the time being, the rest of the base, all's looking good. Our calories are great. Our omelets are actually starting to stockpile up again, though that might have been the injection of uh, meat from that pup that came in. Anyway, uh, these long form ones are kind of strange doing these let's plays. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do them for this long or with every brick laid. If you want me to cut out more pieces, just let me know. I can certainly do that. Anyway, enjoy.